Have you ever seen the TV show Ghost Hunters? If you have, then you know exactly who Jason and Grant are. They actually wrote a book together called Ghost Hunting. True stories of unexplained phenomena from the Atlantic Paranormal Society. This book, I picked it up at the library, and oh my god, I'm so glad that I did. If you want to know what I thought about this book, then just keep watching. What's up my little sparks? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you become a member of our spark family by pressing the subscribe button, be it down below, over to the side, up there, down there. I don't know. It depends on where it is on the device that you're watching this on. And don't forget to also press that little bell icon that's down below beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. So like I said in the beginning of the video, Jason and Grant wrote a book called Ghost Hunting, True Stories of Unexplained Phenomena from the Atlantic Paranormal Society. This book was so good, I had a hard time putting it down. They explain pretty much what happens in different um, investigations that they go to, how they find out if a place is haunted, what they do if they find out that a place is haunted, and also they explain that sometimes there are places that are not haunted, that it's just, you know, um, it can be debunked as something that's going on in the house or physical, like with the weather, stuff like that. This book is really, really good. And I really suggest that you get it. I mean, some of the stuff, if you're a fan of the Ghost Hunters TV series, some of the stuff you may recognize from certain episodes, because I know there was some in here that I recognized from some of the episodes, but I really love this. Like, to me, Taps is one of the best paranormal societies, I guess you could call it, that I've seen so far. I love watching their show. Every time I can catch it on TV, I always watch it. And when I seen this at the library, I just, I had to get it. It's... I'll read to you what it says on the back of the book here. The Atlantic Paranormal Society, also known as TAPS, is the brainchild of two plumbers by day, paranormal investigators by night, Jason Hawes and Grant Wilson. Their hair-raising investigations, fueled by their unique abilities and a healthy dose of scientific method, have made them the subject of a hit TV show, the sci-fi channel's Ghost Hunters. Now, their experiences are in print for the first time, and Jason and Grant recount for us, with the help of veteran author Michael Jan Friedman, the stories of some of their most memorable investigations. The men and women of TAPS pursue ghosts and other sub supernatural phenomena with the most sophisticated scientific equipment available, from thermal imaging cameras to electromagnetic field recorders to digital thermometers, and the results may surprise you. Featuring both cases depicted on Ghost Hunters and earlier TAPS adventures, never told before now, this funny, fascinating, frightening collection will challenge everything you thought you knew about the spirit world. And there's pictures inside too. It also says on the back of the book, if you set out to prove a haunting, anything will seem like evidence. But if you set out to disprove it, you will end up with only those things that you can't explain away. And that was quoted by Jason and Grant. It also says, what did a paranormal investigation reveal at the Stanley Hotel in Colorado, the hotel built in 1903 that in inspired Stephen King's The Shining? Why was a chihuahua barking uncontrollably at one door in a Toronto apartment complex? What is the chilling history be behind the Rolling Hills Asylum in Batavia, New York? So like I said, if you can get your hands on this book, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's a really, really good book. I didn't even want to put it down when I was reading it. I was like, okay, I'll read one investigation and then put it down. No, I didn't end up putting it down. I'd read the next one and I'd be like, okay, I'll read one more. And then I ended up reading like six in a row. This book is 200 and something pages long hold on let me see exactly 273 pages long and i read this book in maybe three days time and that's that's saying something so you know if i read a book fast 
you know I really like it. So anyways, I'm not going to give away too much in the book because I do want you guys to get your hands on it and read it for yourself and see what you guys think. But I just wanted to give you a little insight on what I thought about the book because a lot of people, even though it doesn't show it by my view count, but a lot of people keep asking me what I think about the books that I'm reading, especially when I share it on Twitter and stuff like that. So that's why I filmed these book reviews and hopefully one day they'll pick up, but who knows. Anyways, um, so yeah, here's what the book looks like. So yeah, I will leave the um, ISBN or whatever it's called number down in the description box below, just like my previous book review, uh, just in case you are in Montreal and want to go and borrow this from the Grand Bibliothèque uh, down by Barry. But for others, this is the name of it. I will leave the name down below. And you guys can even use the ISBN if you guys want to look for it on Amazon and stuff like that. So anyways, with that said, that's the end of this video. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever uh, watch ghost hunters before. Do you believe in ghosts and spirits and the paranormal? Um, out of all the ghost hunting shows that are on TV right now, which are your favorites? And uh, that's it for now. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help and I really do appreciate it more than you know. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're not yet subscribed, please do so and become a member of our Spark family. I try my best to upload a video a minimum of once a week. Sometimes it doesn't happen because, you know, life, but I try my best. And if you subscribe, then you'll get notifications every time I upload a video, especially if you press that little bell icon that's down beside the subscribe button, which gives you notifications. Because for some reason, I don't know what's up with YouTube, it's kind of glitchy that most people are not getting their um, notifications from people like they're not seeing them in their sub feed so if you have the notifications turned on then you get to know when I upload a video right away as soon as it's uploaded so anyways that's it I'm rambling I'm gonna go I'll see you guys in my next video bye